Hey Pisces, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Pisces, okay, we had a ton of cards pop out. We have the Fault Line, the Venom, um, the Box, the Judge, the Mentor, the Queen, the Self, the Comic, the Seed, and the Nectar. Cancers, I mean Pisces. Whew. Um, let's start with the Venom in the Fault Line. We've got some nastiness that's just being spewed regularly. You know, I mean, it's just kind of like, <clears throat> I feel like there's an element of just being triggered, right? I mean, Pisces, it's been in your reads for a while now of just this idea of, of, rhetoric and what we speak and how we speak it and and you know like using an opportunity uh, you know like taking advantage of somebody not being aware of a situation to you know like manipulate that situation according to you know something that's going to make you look good and them look bad or you know something like that um you know and and again i'm not trying to be like judgmental about it you know like maybe there's friends that you had and they were really shitty to you and and you wanted to you know show them you know what it means to screw with you or you know what I mean it's just kind of like this but that's the energy that's there and it's kind of like I want to say like it's keeping you it's holding you hostage right because if somebody does something that upsets you one time and then you go out of your way, you know, over a period of time to really um, paint a picture of them that's very just untrue and you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, and you can be on either side of the story, take it how it resonates. These are general reads. This is just the message, message that's coming through. If it doesn't resonate, I apologize. Um, you know, there are probably a lot of other great Pisces reads out there, um, but here's where we're at today. <laughs> um, but anyways, you know, and, and you can be on either side of the story, but it just feels very deceptive. It feels very malicious. Um, and it feels like, like in trying to show how bad somebody else is, all you did was show how bad you were. And when I say how bad you are, it's like how bad your behavior is, right? But if you establish a pattern of behavior, that becomes your character. And I feel like there was this, this landslide of, of doing more damage to yourself, right? Because being angry at somebody doesn't hurt anyone but you. You know what I mean? Like, especially if that person isn't somebody who's like, really putting a lot of thought into what you're doing or what you're saying, you know, and they're trying to build their life and they're trying to build their character. And you can say that they're doing all these terrible things, but they're over here working. And that's been, again, uh, this thing of like reality wins out in the end. And so like the more you fight against, you know, a fight against somebody because they made you mad, the, the more of an asshole you look like. And it just like, it doesn't pan out well. And I just kind of feel like, you're starting to understand, like maybe you've got a friend or maybe you've got somebody in your family or a coworker who's like, hey, like this isn't healthy behavior. This isn't a healthy way to like to handle this. And, and you know, it, it's affecting you in a negative way. And like, how can we pull you out of this? How can we help you to heal? <laughs> you know, like, are you okay? You know, is it because because your family hated your lifestyle and so you wanted to really, you know, prove them wrong and, and, and what revealed dirty secrets, dirty laundry, but it's like things that they had worked to overcome, you know, like calling somebody an alcoholic, but they've been, um, you know, like sober for 10 months and, you know, like in that whole time you've been tearing them down. But then when people learn that they are sober and they've, how hard they've worked to do that, like you, you have a hard time justifying tearing that person down because they hurt you when they were drunk. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's that kind of mentality and I'm not trying to 
minimize like the motivation behind what you did because maybe at that point in time it seems like you had every right in the world to do it but it just it there's just this disconnect that's really serving to I think make you feel a little foolish about your way of, of reacting and, and behaving um, toward this person Again, you can be on either side of the story. Take it how it resonates. Um, okay. So then we have the nectar and the seed. Um, you know, and it's this idea of like wanting to, I mean, because again, whatever this is that, that occurred, I feel like it's something that occurred we're multifaceted people, right? Let's start there. We, we are all, we all embody different facets, different parts of who we are. You know, like when I'm at, at work, I'm this person. When I'm with my, you know, lover, I'm this person. When I'm with my friend, I'm this person. When I'm with people I don't really know, I'm this person, right? And so people are going to have different perceptions of you. Um, and you can't allow for one person's experience of you to dictate your entire persona right? You can't allow for yourself to be lost in the idea that somehow you're bad now because of this one thing. But what you do need to do is acknowledge that one thing, understand why you reacted the way you reacted, how it is that you like, how it is that damage was done according to that and work to ensure that you're protecting the rest of your life that, that it doesn't continue in that way, right? Because just because you behaved in, in a certain way in one circumstance or one area doesn't mean that that's who you are in your entirety. The point is that if you do not cut that behavior out, if you do not release yourself from that behavior, then that behavior will start to take over and become acceptable in every other area, which is that instant gratification high of, oh, I showed them but then like it comes back or energy comes back around again, right? <laughs> Karma isn't a bitch. It's a reflection of who you are. And so if that's not what you want to be reflected back to you, then don't behave like that. And sometimes we have to go through the lesson, right? And I feel like you're going through the lesson. I do think that there's somebody who's kind of helping you to see your way out of it. Um, and, and remind you that there's more to you than, than this one particular instance in your life, right? Having an awareness of our shadow state does not make us instantly exist in the shadow always and forever, right? You can't be afraid of it. You can't be, you can't walk around carrying guilt and shame. You just have to allow for it to be what it is and then move, move on, <laughs> you know, um, watch it in the future. Know that that's something that you have a tendency to, to want to do um, and don't do it. Self-awareness. It's great. <laughs> the emperor and the five of pentacles. Yeah. Make a decision to walk away from that type of behavior. I mean, I feel like this is a pretty straightforward read. <laughs> um, four of pentacles. Four of Pentacles is the idea of, of making a home. Um, and the Three of Cups. I mean, I love that. I don't know why, like what popped into my mind, but it's just like, like the idea of a home. Like I thought of like a kennel and like you want to clean the kennel. You want to clean your home. You want to keep whatever it is that you're taking care of. You want to keep that space clean. And I feel like you're cleaning up some space, Pisces. And I love that. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Pisces. That's going to be it for y'all. The Empress. Yes. Because, I mean, again, there's just this decision to clean up this space, to clean up the, the behavior to, you know, like, it's just, I almost feel like it's sometimes it's as simple as just like going in and, and and acknowledging it, right? Like saying, okay, like this is what happened. This is how, and I feel like you guys have been wanting to do that. Maybe there's just been a little bit of fear and trepidation. 
but honestly, Pisces, it's not that you don't have a gift of understanding or a gift of, of communication or, or any of these things. It's just that when you take it in a direction that's manipulative, um, you know, out of revenge or out of spite, um, you know, like that, that comes back on you, um, not the people who are, who are working to better themselves. Um, And sometimes you want to avoid the lessons, right? I mean, anybody, <laughs> really. <laughs> um, because it's easier to just point the finger and make it somebody else's problem. Nima Mundi. But the problem is, is there that we are connected. We do have, our lives are interconnected. You know, there is, there is overlap and overlay. And if you decide that you want to play with something um, that isn't yours to play with, or you want to, you know, like speak something that isn't yours to speak, or you want to paint a picture that isn't real because of whatever reason or motivation you have, um, you know, like we are all held accountable for our own actions, right? Like in the end, you, you know, and so it's important to not let other people's actions dictate our reactions. Um, because in the end, like they could have been moving on and developing and growing from those and, and you're over here still sliding down the mud. Um, but I feel like you're getting out of that Pisces. I love that for y'all. Um, you know, I know it's not an easy lesson to learn, but it's a lesson that we all experience in life. Um, I hope this resonates with y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share and subscribe if it does, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.